Hey Harmonizers, here is an update video with Mr. Mustang where he is getting a groom. I am brushing him with um, the soft brush there. So this was his first time being touched with an object. So I chose to use a really soft brush as I was grooming him for the first time. You're gonna see me do a bunch of other things uh, with him for the first time as well. And then I've got my little bucket of uh, treats and grass and whatnot there. So at this point, he still is not taking um, grain or the uh, cookies. So we're still having to do a fair bit with the grass, which is not as convenient, but it just takes them a little bit of time before they can figure out that they enjoy the grain. So there's a little look at kind of brushing his legs for the first time, doing a little bit of brushing his feet, coming over on the other side, doing some... Uh, brushing and petting and then I did a little bit of just kind of seeing how he would do with kind of with me moving around him and if he would be upset or anything by that so I do a little bit of kind of stroking at his bum you can see I spend a bit of time there and then I try to just casually walk behind him which he found a little bit overwhelming not horrible like he kind of walked off and then trotted off because of um, the rope. So I just sped up this footage here so you could see that I just brought him back and uh, bring him back over to kind of work on going by his butt again. So definitely not the worst reaction in terms of my Mustangs. Sometimes walking behind their bum can be a super difficult thing for them to learn. If you guys remember Meriki, one of my Mustangs from uh, back in 2019, I want to say. He uh, was really challenged by that and we had to spend a lot of time working on walking behind him and building up his confidence with people going behind him. So this is uh, definitely easier than some and that was like pretty good there. I walk behind his bum, I get to the other side. He's a little bit apprehensive and wondering like, oh, okay, you appeared on my right eye now. And then it's funny because I go to kind of uh, just pet him there and he was like okay with me crossing sides but then the fact that I was actually going to then touch him on that side was overwhelming and he ran away. So it's kind of a funny reaction because you don't really expect that when you've walked behind the horse already and then you know I already touch him and everything like that for him to have that kind of reaction. So that's just kind of a little look at that, that starting and then here is not great filming footage but you can see I brought him into the ring and we just kind of walked over some different things and this is after he finally started to eat grain so I could now use grain as a reward which is so much easier and eventually that will transition to cookies as well but grain is usually easier like a sweet feed so that's a senior feed and here's walking over some flowers for the first time so he's kind of sniffing them he's a little bit unsure and my steering ability and filming at the same time not super fantastic so he's like you know what i could just i could just walk around it you know Lindsay. like why do we have to go over it and i'm like no we're gonna go over it so i have to kind of bring him back over and i'm still got him on the longer line here but essentially just kind of getting him straight and I want to even though this is not like the most beautiful filming footage that I've ever done for you guys I wanted to include it so you could just kind of see a little bit of how his brain works and why I think he's really really smart because he's not panicking he's not doing anything really stupid but he's like hey you know I could just go around and then he's like oh, okay whatever I'll just go over so I love I love his personality he's um I think he's really really smart really clever to figure some of these things out. Here's a little look at him doing the pedestal for the very first time. So he kind of sniffs it, he thinks about it, tests it out with his foot. He's like, I don't know, can I put my weight on it? I give him his little bit of sweet feed as a little reward. So notice how I don't hold the sweet feed bucket out in front of him as a bribe. It's very much a reward, like I pull it back and he knows he gets rewarded once he tries things. I'm not trying to get him to follow the bucket or anything like that. And he does it really sensible. You know, he set, steps up, no big deal, and uh, figures that out really well. Gets his little cookies there. And some horses, when you teach them how to do a pedestal, when you ask them to walk forwards across it, 
they can't fathom putting their back legs on it. They go off the side, they'll back off first, they'll step their back legs to the side. And then he's really smart. So I'm really happy that his name is Elon because smart fellow and uh, works with that name. So I'm just giving him lots of rewards first and then you guys will uh, get to see him walking over the pedestal afterwards. And I wanted to leave this longer clip in here just to kind of give an example of just how much reward and sometimes I'll time I'll spend on a new skill that makes me happy just to really get that comfortable. So there he puts one foot up onto the pedestal and goes straight over wasn't upset by it or anything like that so that's really awesome because some horses can really struggle with that and the fact that he was able to do that so easily uh, even though it wasn't both feet that touched it but he went straight across it and stepped up onto it again just shows how he's a thinker and he's smart and he's sensible but of course i'm also showing you guys some clips of moments where he does get overwhelmed and he does run away and things like that so he's still definitely you know, a Mustang and is learning to trust people and all of those things, but um, he's figuring all the pieces. So here's coming to the pedestal for the second time now, and you can see he's, I'm not paying full attention because there's somebody talking to me out there, and he's just kind of sniffing it, kind of thinking about it, testing it out, and he's like, you know what, we could just go around. So I'm going to make a little correction here, ask him if he can go straight over the pedestal first and he's like well I could just go around the other side <laughs> which when they do stuff like that it doesn't you know bother me at all he's just showing that he's smart and he's thinking he's like well could this work you know could that work and then he's like oh you know you want me to step on this thing again and I'm like yep yeah, that's where I want you to step and this time I'm just trying to withhold that food reward a little longer to see if he can do his two feet before he gets the reward and sometimes I'll try that if I feel like, you know, it was pretty easy for them to get it and they got lots of rewards, then they should be able to put two and two together instead of having to give reward after one leg, expect that he can do the two legs. So I just be patient with him and wait with him to figure this out a little bit, just try to keep his nose straight. And it's interesting because he got so much reward when he was up on the pedestal and then now he's like really like do it again and it doesn't take that long in the whole scheme of things to to do it and he gets more rewards and gets to be happy little king up on the the pedestal area there so he's doing super phenomenal big big thinker going around the arena and stuff like that and you may notice in our mustang training that i have not done any lunging or chasing or anything like that because I find that very disconnecting. So I do a lot of other types of exercises with my Mustangs first. So another thing that we were working on was coming into the cross ties. So this is him coming into cross ties for the first time. So he's very apprehensive about stepping onto the mats and he's a little bit like, well, I don't know if I want to come on those mats and or sorry, this is the first time going into this particular set of cross ties, so he's a little bit confused. He's not sure about the mats, and then of course there's blankets up on the rails and on the sides and stuff like that. So it's a pretty scary place to be. And this just kind of shows you how I take my um, time with him, and I want to get him kind of up onto the mats first and then try to turn him around. My little doggo in the corner there who's watching and supervising and keeping my Mustang in line. Just kidding. She's uh, not super helpful when it comes to horse training, but she's a very patient dog. Uh, just watching its little Lona Bear there. And you can see he is, uh, he's kind of being smart and just kind of thinking. He's checking things out a little bit. He's not overreacting or anything, but he's, you know, going slow and going cautious as he comes in, but ultimately ends up coming in. And then once he comes in, he gets his little sweet feed treat where he's going to get rewarded. And again, I'm not holding the bucket in front of him as a tease or a bribe. I have it there as a reward. So we've got him turned around now and he gets a little bit more of a reward and then we're going to try doing the uh, 
cross ties, but of course leaving the, um, the rope attached as well. But first I'm just kind of rubbing him in this spot because the last thing that I want to do is hook him up to cross ties and have him panic and, and break a bunch of stuff. And as you can see, there's, you know, people leaving and passing by and this is all new for him to experience that. So I just make sure that the commotion's kind of settled and he's okay before I clip him up to anything. And our cross ties are attached to little pieces of binder twine so that way if he does panic the binder twine will break before he like pulls down the whole wood structure or anything like that so it's a little bit safer and then here's just doing some grooming on the cross ties so we were already doing some grooming inside the arena and then this is grooming on the cross ties and i like to groom them in a nice open space first so that way they get used to it and they have room to run away if they feel overwhelmed. And then this is now challenging him to be confined and it's more claustrophobic, which is tricky for horses. So he's having to go through all of those little pieces, doing the little grooming there. He's totally fine with the brush, which we already knew. And then here's me using the grooming brush on his mane and starting to get that all detangled and combed out so he's learning how to be pampered and fussed over and everything else and then i'm going to come back here towards the tail so i just kind of rub and you can see i'm standing very much kind of off to the side to brush his tail and I'm being kind of careful and not trying to uh, overwhelm him or anything like that and this is actually my first time brushing his tail so he's doing really really well with that so I just do a little bits of brushing, let pieces fall, but I'm careful not to pull on his tail. So I'm holding above the spot that I'm brushing so that way he doesn't get a big sensation of me, you know, yanking on him or something like that. So other big news is that he's uh, eating his grain and eating cookies together out in the field as well. So he's munching on those little bits there and starting to really enjoy the work and enjoying the training. So he's doing super duper awesome.